Nick's size is just a little bit bigger, but the big problem here is it's thicker and it's longer. And so once again, I'm using the gloves and we're going to show the technique shearing it on the table. Again, I line the magnet up, I leave a little bit hanging off, and then I am able to push straight down until I get it off. Putting it back on, I use the wedge again and put it on. And now I'm able to slide until it's back on the stack. So this is how you take them off. Now let's go on up to some of those big monster one and a half inch magnets and look at that size, how we handle those. Once again, we're going to look at the shearing technique. This time, we're doing it with one of my favorite blood blister magnets. These magnets have caused more blood blisters than any other magnet that I have because they're just at the size that you think you can handle them without gloves, but they're just at the size that they can put a serious amount of pain on you. So if you really like the pain from blood blisters, I recommend don't use the gloves. Me, I'm going to use the gloves, okay? Once again, we'll use our shear technique, let it hang over the edge put the block of wood on top. Even though this one has spacers in it, it is still very, very powerful. And I slide straight through in one motion, all the way down. I don't worry about anything else falling. When the spacers fall off, I don't try and catch them. I let anything else hit the floor because I cannot let this magnet get near this stack within four or five inches of it, or it is going to create a lot of problems. Now, to put these back together, once again, we would use the wedge. Now, this one had some spacers in it, and I'll put the spacers back in it as well. I'm just going to use this spacer here. Put the spacer on, the magnet with the wedge, keep the spacer lined up. Now, as I slide this, I'll see that starting to slide. I get a, the magnet is going to slide on top of the plastic a lot easier than the plastic is sliding on the wood. So we have to work that to get that back together with the spacer back in the middle. So the next time we need to get them off, they're easier. So once again, be very careful with these and don't handle these without the gloves. Now we move into the big leagues. Two by two by one, these are the N40s. These are like the ones that you see in the Super Magnet Crash videos. And many people emailed me and asked me, how did I separate these magnets now you're going to find out. Let's first look at the tools we're going to need. I have two of these that are stuck together. Wooden wedge and my special kind of hammer, a two by four. Put a little tape on it so I don't get splinters or anything, but this is going to be my hammer. Now I have the wooden table and I have the magnets. The first thing I want to do is I need to make a little bit of a crack so that the wedge can get started. So I'll put them right next to my table and I twist it just a little bit to create a little bit of an opportunity to get this wedge in here. Now line the wedge up in the crack and I'm ready to first make the first hit with it. Now I'm trying to hold everything in place and remember these magnets are not in the blood blister category. These are in the body part crushing category of magnets. So we don't want to play with these. Once we start hammering the wedge in, I want to make sure I move it to the center. Once I get it lined up like this, this is what I want. Now I'm going to turn it upside down and press down on both pieces, keeping it on the wedge. When we're through, it's like this. Now from this position, it's possible to shear these apart right on the side of the table and slide downward. Once again, when you slide these apart, you slide them apart very rapidly so that you get them as far apart as possible, as quick as possible. Putting two of these together, we do the exact same thing. I take the magnet, put it underneath the wedge. I hold the wedge from the point that's not over the magnet I take the other magnet, I get it close without making sure, and making sure that I have no body parts or even any part of the glove on top of that. That's why I made these wedges that have such a large landing area. I can hold out like this to the side, come straight on top, 
and it slams together with a little bit of force. So that's how we separate the really large and powerful neomagnets. We're going to go one step higher so you can see how we separate two inch cubes. As always, with Super Magnet Man, we take things to extreme. This is two, two inch cubed N50 magnets that I put together so I could demonstrate how to separate them using one of our other special tools in handling extremely large magnets. This is sort of what I call a big magnet shearer. I've got a hole drilled in my table that I'll show in just a second how this puts together and this little notch is what the magnet will fit on and then I can use this similar to a paper cutter and shear the magnets apart using leverage. Let's take a look at how this is put together. All right, notice I've got this giant nail. I'm going to put it in this hole and then we push this back together. Okay, once I've got this set up, I find my notch and put the magnets in the notch. Now I'm going to have to hold this in position and shear it apart. Once we have it lined up like this with part on here and part hanging off, now we're ready to apply pressure. The magnets are trying their best to get away and flip around. So you have to pull one out of the way quickly. So there you have it. How do you separate the large magnets uh, from the small ones all the way to the large ones so that you don't break them? Remember in review, if you like your fingers and hands as much as I like mine, you will always wear something like these thick gloves when you're handling large magnets and you will learn to use your wedge and find a good wooden surface that you can press against so that you can shear them quickly and cleanly so that they don't hurt your fingers either. That's it. Take a look at check us out on the web at www.supermagnetman.net. Thanks.